Hi friends, welcome to my channel Kitchen to Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you a simple eggless cake recipe that's made with tutti frutti or candied fruits. Most of the ingredients required for this recipe are easily available in your kitchen except maybe the tutti frutti. This cake turns out really moist and so very spongy. An extremely good snack item or a dessert item. Hope you like it. Let's see how to make it. To make this cake, I am using about a cup of all-purpose flour or maida. Whenever you are baking a cake, it's extremely important to sieve the flour. Air incorporated during sieving makes your cake spongy. Here I have sieved the all-purpose flour two times. In a separate bowl, add the candied fruits or the tutti frutti and add some all-purpose flour. This is to ensure that when you mix the tutti frutti with the cake mixture, they spread evenly and don't sit at the bottom. Now let's start making the cake mixture. Add 3 4 cup of yogurt and 3 4 cup of sugar in a bowl and with the help of an electric beater mix them well. Add 1 teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda or eno. Mix them well. Soon enough the mixture will start to become fluffy and that's because of the baking soda and baking powder. Now add 1 4 cup of oil. Mix everything well for few seconds. Now let's start adding the all-purpose flour. We are going to add it in two portions. So add half of the sieved flour and mix it well. Now add the second half and mix it well. The mixture has come together really well. So just with the help of a spoon, scrape from the sides and mix it well. To this mixture, now add the candied fruits that we had mixed with some all-purpose flour and I'm also adding some pine nuts. Give everything a good mix. Cake batter is now ready. I'm using a rectangular baking pan to bake this cake. Grease it well with some oil spray and also lay a parchment paper. Parchment paper is grease and moisture resistant so your cake doesn't stick to the pan. Add the cake mixture starting from the middle. This ensures that the mixture is spread evenly through the pan. Tap it 2 to 3 times to get rid of any extra air. I have preheated the oven to 350 degree Fahrenheit. We are going to bake this cake for about 40 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been baking for about 40 minutes or so. Notice the nice golden layer that's formed on the cake. Amazing. It's ready. Let's take it out. Because of the parchment paper, it's so easy to take it out from the pan. Really well baked. Now cut the slices into desired thickness. I'm just cutting them to a little thicker size. Let's check closely and notice the cake has become really soft and spongy. Very moist and extremely delicious. Hope you've enjoyed today's recipe. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.